What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player in the game of risk global domination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I stream on Twitch almost as often. If you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. For today's episode, we're playing an, a game of uh, world domination on Europe Advanced. World Domination Progressive on EU Advanced. Um, familiar settings for me. Blizzards are on. Let's take a look at the settings quickly. We're doing uh, Progressive World Dom. EU Advanced. Auto setup, 60 second turns. We have one automated bot. Um, progressive cards. Alliances. Fog and portals are off. Blizzards are on. I'm in the final position. In position one, we've Cap JMK from Hong Kong. <laughs> Playing as black. In position two, we have Karadun. From the Cocos Islands, playing as white. In position three, we have Alex Kant from US of A, playing as blue. Woo! <laughs> a little sneeze there. In position four, the orange player is Vera from Serbia. And this is the host of the game. In position five, we have General Shintani, 13506, who has gone offline. <laughs> Ooh, I got the sneezes now. Not the best time to happen right when I'm starting a video. So red player is a bot, and I'm in the final position playing as green. Let's see how this cookie crumbles. All right. Looks like Blue's clustered around France, and they're going to try and take it on the first turn. They lose a 3v1, so France will not be Blue's. Me starting as green in the last position could be okay. Looks like I have a line for the Spain bonus if France and I want to be homies. <laughs> Looks like I have a line for the get a navy bonus take a quick look at the bonuses in eu advance Scandinavia at the top were three british empire three iceland is two southwest europe spain and portugal is four france is four italy and switzerland is four dinaric alps is four southeastern europe is four russia you can hold it as seven eastern europe plus eight orient plus six and across the bottom you have the two pieces of africa west africa worth plus six and north africa worth plus three if you can hold it okay we see orange take a bonus on the first turn. That's a three for four. That is the best bonus on the board, but they're next to an automated bot. Do we see the bot break? We do. Okay. Orange won't be getting off to an explosive start this game. I'm of two minds about my start. I like the Scandinavia play the best. It commits a lot of material to one side of the board without really being able to put troops elsewhere. Do I want to put troops in North Africa or do I want to put troops in Orient? I think I put troops in Orient. It blocks Orange, but Orange is in a bit of a spot as it is. My hedge is going to be at two ends of the map and we'll kind of spiral out from there. I'm going to slowly take... Scandinavia bonus and guard it reasonably weakly. Reasonably weakly. It's tough to get into Finland because you actually have to cut through two of my additional territories. One, two. Which is why I wanted this bonus in the first place because it's a bit out of everyone's way and you don't want to scare people too quickly right off the bat. Black on a second turn moves to take the North Africa bonus. Gets it on the second turn. The red bot has the Balkans. Leaving a, an undefended border with a bot is dangerous. Second turn for white. White puts more material in Russia, I would guess. No. Four next to my four. Is white a bot? White's trying to play a no continent game. Okay, so you guys know how I normally play World on Progressive. This map, I'm not going to say you need continents. 
but this map, the bonuses are small and relatively easy to hold. So one of the things you often see is multiple people take continents in the early game. Blue is going to finish France now. Okay. So here's how the positioning of our players is going to look. Orange is in a bit of a spot. Do they retake? I think Orange moves into Orient now. So I'm going to lose this one. That's what I would do if I were them. And since they're the host of the game, I'm going to assume that they're not terrible. Okay, so they re they double down on the Dinaric Alps and they break the bot. That's the other way to play it. But the problem is you're, you have multiple fronts where this bot can still break you. He's hoping the bot retakes the bot's own bonus rather than going this way and, and breaking his. He's still, he's already a turn behind. Yeah, well successfully pushed the bot into a direction that he wanted that is upside okay so I want to take France or rather Spain I don't think I do so Because I think that scares my opponents too much. I'm going to start putting material on the other side of the board. So right now I'm doing just general basic progressive style play. Where you put yourself in multiple places. For when the cards inevitably get valuable. I'm in three essential positions. I have my bonus that I've just held. I am the first player in this game to hold a bonus, but it's the weakest one. So long term, I don't do so, so well with it. Black holds a same strength, a plus three, but he got it on the second turn. I got mine at the end of the first. Black breaks the bot, rolls a 6v3, and loses. Loses the 6v3. 7v3 is 100% roll, 6v3 is not. And that is not great. Or the black player, okay. White is doing the multi-positional play, but white doesn't have a bonus. So white has their four stacked up to mine. Okay, yeah. See, he's in three places, five, five, and four. White's going to get eaten in this game. I think it is essential that you have a bonus. Okay. Blue holds France. Uh, does blue decide to push into Spain? They do. Okay. So blue is a greedy player. They are going to have six, five. They're going to have a six guard on one of their two fronts. A six guard and a four guard. Those two bonuses are, are far too good to be allowed to hold with such a weak hold. Orange is occupied with red. Orange takes Iceland. This breaks red and edges by sticking himself in another. I think if I haymaker blue before they have a chance to build, the worst thing they can do is set and break me. Best thing they can do is being left alone. They kind of have a dominant position. Two plus fours at this stage. Ah, uh, but the haymaker. You know, haymaker. Um, it feels correct, and I often just play with my emotions. So let's see how we do. Yeah, we get rewarded for our dice. So I've expanded my position. Unless blue has a set, they will become the fish. I still have three places. We see a fairly aggressive break from me. One thing I often advocate people not to do. So the reason I decided to do it in this case is if you do it early enough, you're gonna let blue hold plus eight just too dangerous. Oh, he breaks orange. 
Ah, okay. I like that. I like that. I go bad neighbor and another one of my opponents does as well. White's still not holding bonuses. White opens a fourth position in Sardinia. Okay, White's game could be all right if he stays out of trouble. Blue puts in four troops. It's enough to retake France, but not Spain. So he'll have a two-point guard on France. Points all his troops at me. Well, obviously, I'm not going to let this guy hold a bonus now. And as I said, blue can't really effectively counterattack. So. Uh, oh. First set is red. Red bot sets gets the seven, or gets the four. If we see this seven break. Doesn't roll a 5v3. Doesn't roll the 3v1. Okay. Bot is being friendly. Going to continue my war with blue. If I was him, there would be no reason for me to not set in and suicide into Pete now. Down to 11 troops. And four cards. Those cards are worth six if he trades them. Reasonably lined up to make this kill soon. One, two, three, four, five territories remain. Okay. If I was blue, I'd be fuming. I'd be like, this guy just fucking targeted this shit out of me. <laughs> Once you kind of start a war, you want in progressive especially, you want to finish it before your opponent can retaliate. <laughs> Wouldn't shock me if he quit either. We see a lot of that when you get punched super hard. Black is... Playing all right, but black's in a single position. So black has one strong single position. I'm now holding 26 territories. So the additional amount of the board I'm sitting on is very valuable long term. White opportunistically hit some of me. Just a single? Just a single. Okay, white's in four places. Playing well. Do we see the set from blue? We don't. That's going into Spain. Okay, blue player sitting on five cards in the first matching sequence. Now I'm starting to look for who's the fish. Bonuses matter a lot on this map, I think. Black has already instigated with orange, so orange has a direction, we hope. And if I remain on 24 territories, that'll be eight troops plus my three is 11 at the start of my turn. And orange points their seven stack at me with nowhere for it to go. That was dumb. Right? So now there's literally no direction that the orange player can punch but through my bonus. Ooh, I was hoping blue would lose that. So it's actually a non decision. I have to remove them from the pocket. Let's get good dice. Five. Yeah, I think I get it. Four, three, and win the roll. We do. Okay. I win the pocket. I now control 
Britain, Iceland, and Scandinavia, and I took away half of Orange's troops. But Orange and Blue are both on five cards, and they're both going to punch me. So I'm going to get cut back down to size, but I get a slightly bigger trade than them. I get the 15. I'm not expecting to hold any bonuses, but I have this nice barrier of the bot between me and the two opponents I've pissed off at this game. White's playing well. White's staying out of trouble. Black's pissed off orange, but orange is kind of surrounded being that they're in the middle. Does black break orange again? Takes the Balkans. Hmm. All right, we're in the first matching sequence now. White sets in, gets the eight. Blue's going to get the 10. Orange gets the 12. I get the 15. So both these guys are going to hit me. I think white distributes equally with the eight. Yes, he distributes equally. White's in four strong position, hard to kill. White's at 34 troops, staying out of trouble, giving them almost as many as I have. They just get a single take and pass. Yes. Four sevens. Great play by White. White is the best player in this game. Blue sets hits me here. <sighs> no, blue sets breaks me up, up at the top. They're distributing. Ah, blue playing well as well. Good for blue. Okay. They remove an orange exterior. They don't retaliate. Huh. Okay. I don't think we see orange go ham on me, but maybe. Maybe orange lets the bot hold. Then we have a really strong bot on our border, which would be bad for me. If orange was good, they'd let the bot break me instead, but they don't. They're not good. <laughs> they beat the shit out of me. Good for you, orange. Good for you. Okay. And they beat the shit out of me. Exciting. Okay, so if I reciprocate that attack, they die. Blacks is well played. Ooh, okay. Something I would definitely recommend not doing. Um, if you were trying to not get slammed by a guy with five cards who has been insufferable to his opponents. Um, okay. Well, this is the deciding moment of this game. I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to leave orange on the other side of the bot, I think. Black gets the 11. Who's got cards? Not beat. So I'm not super worried about black. They're getting a ton of troops, but they're not aggressively expanding with them. Yeah, they definitely take me out of generic Alps and take it for themselves. All right. Orange has a little bit of material down here in, in their single position across the top. Breaks the bot once. Hmm. I think white wins this game. Maybe I can snag a kill on the bot with good cards. We're gonna let the bot hold Germany, it looks like. Unless orange breaks it. <laughs> White hits the black too, which is black's last exterior. Black is now in a single position. I'm only in two. 
the counterattack from Orange was good, but it was really an inevitable war once they stacked on Scotland. They needed to hide in the corner for a while longer. Who's going to be sitting on four cards? Those four cards are probably going to go into me. I'm trying to think how I can get out of this situation. Red gets 10 troops. 10 troops on the 12 hit the four in Denmark. Sits with a single, single large stack aimed to make a kill next turn. Uh-huh. A little bit on the bottom to hedge. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Breaks the bot is wise. Let's see that bot set on three. If <laughs> we see that bot set on three. Bots always set when they have cards as a default. Now 14 is going to be bad for black. Nine V six. Blue loses an exterior. Okay. I'm almost lined up to kill blue, but not quite. Damn it. Damn it. I mean, what are the chances I win a 7v6 and a 2v1? Almost zero. Position myself to kill blue. He doesn't have a set on four. I can. He probably will, though. I got the set on four. Let's see who gets what. We're at the 25 trade now at the beginning of the eighth turn. This game will probably end in two or three turns, or at least have the outcome decided. I do love these. Okay, black is thinking. Decides to hit a five of red and break. Black's just hanging out in their position, letting the early advantage of having two bonuses fall by the wayside as the card trades start to scale. White is not doing that. White is doing very well. If they have set on four, they would trade it now. And they do. They get a 25 trade. White lined up to make a kill. Kills blue. Blue dies. White gets the 30. And he kill me with the 30. Yeah, my game is fragile to white and orange. Doesn't look like he's making a second kill. Okay. Let's see if orange has a set. Black player sitting on five cards and 48. That is the 35. Does orange take the 35 trade? They do. What do they do with it? Lined up to kill red. Just get a card. Okay. I think I can kill Red. I think that's the move that makes sense.
I mean, with the 40... I had an active stack I could work on black. I think that might make more sense. Very close, though. These rolls have to go... Ooh, these rolls really have to go my way. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to kill red. All right. I'm sitting at 63. Get two cards. So I'll be at four cards at the end of my turn. Not the best because I will look very fishy. Very fishy. But let's see who's got it. Because I'm in a bunch of places still. Black Sets gets the 45. Everyone is pretty good now. We got four good players left alive. And poor Blue. Blue wasn't bad either. I think Blue just overextended and then got punished because he lost the war with me. Yeah, so Black is, Black is probably the worst, I think. Black is probably the worst player in this game just because they're really focused on defense and holding a position. Whereas White has been focused on kills. I think White is the best. Orange is somewhere in the middle. And Black is the worst player in this game. That's what my intuition about their play tells me. This is a great thing, too, to have, because nobody wants to hit this single, and I can stack on it. I'm also going to have no set on four. The thing that gets you killed gets me killed this game. I go out next. I die. Looks like white is going to take me anyways right now. Looks like white is going to take me anyways. Very good play by white. That is a GG. You don't have enough time now. You spent too long thinking. That's a mistake. White lines themselves up to kill me, but doesn't kill me. Feeds me. Ooh, who are you feeding me to? Orange? Feeds me to orange. Okay, we see a kill feed. Orange sets and kill... No, orange doesn't have a set. I think orange can kill me anyways. Yeah. Total feed. All right, ladies and gentlemen. There is a pervasive, incessant, ringing tone of collaboration in the current circumstance. So, I've been defeated, but I think white is collaborating with orange. Because that was a blatant kill feed. Orange sets up with a straight up um, positional game, and he's the host of the game. White does the blatant kill feed, one, two punch, finishes me off. Black is going to go out next, and then orange and white are going to end the game holding hands. I have a theory. I'm going to expound on this theory um, publicly. But I think the, the circumstances around World Dom not being viable for rank um, creates a perverse incentive for this type of situation. Yeah, and black's just totally hosed. Let's see if white tees up the kill on black as well.
This game is broken, SMG. You need to stop the collaborators. It's probably the most important thing you could be doing right now. White hits as much of black as they can, right? Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Yes, he doesn't hit the stack, though. Yeah. Hmm. It's always possible you're wrong. Yeah, they're not. They're not collabing. Because they would let each other hold bonuses. White just made an error in a kill feed. Yeah, they're not clapping. Looks more like a mistake. There's also a lot of confirmation bias around collabing, right? So you, you it, it does bear... Bear well to watch the outcome. I think White with that kill feed loses now, though. He should have won the game. Yeah, Black doesn't know how to win either. Too bad. So what you do if you're Black is you want to push your advantage, right? You have a lot of troops. You want to line yourself up to make kills. You don't want to worry about holding bonuses 10 turns in. It doesn't matter. White player worried about taking board now. Removes orange from the exterior. And on the 33. Okay. Orange holding the top. Gets plus 18. And a set. Orange can make a kill. Orange can win now. Um, kill black set. Kill white win. That's the line. You stack on the 40. Go down. Kill black set. Finish off white. Don't know what there is to think about because you've already won the game. <sighs> this is incorrect. Yeah, so that was a winning play for Orin. Kill black at the five cards trade, then clean up. You're going to let black build black sets. Breaks white. White's now in the weakest position because he's in the middle. So if I was black, and black has no speed, but if I was black, I'd, I'd hollow out the Orient pocket. Orange is the only player who can win this game, I think. It's going to go all the way around the top. 
to break a plus three. Yeah, so um, despite the fact that there is an abundance of complaints about collaboration, it is important to remember that a lot of that can be confirmation bias. As you saw, um, I am certainly not immune to it, nor would I pretend to be. What I saw as a kill feed, as an intentional kill feed, was likely just an error on the part of orange or of white. So orange or so white player. Um, has the basics down, but similar to the last time I played Progressive World Dom on the channel, um, chokes in the moment of making the kill. So he still has some work to do on the on the timing. If Orange and White were collaborating, they would play a lot more efficiently together. This game would be over by now. This game ends in an Orange victory. Hey, Reg. What do you think of the circumstance? We're getting a little post-game analysis from the show. What do you think happened? Hmm? Why am I dead? Say I shouldn't have picked a fight with those people? I don't know if that would have changed. I got a kill feed. How do you avoid... Alright, here's the question. How do you avoid a kill feed? Right? When someone thinks they can kill you, but they can't. And then they feed you to the next guy. Play better? You guys such a... He's like, oh, sucks to suck. I mean, Reginald, you have no sympathy for my very important rank point. Hmm? He doesn't care. Look, look at the unconcerned cat face that this cat has. You're unconcerned about my rank? Oh my goodness. What are you, what are you concerned about? Hmm? You concerned about the smacks on the tum? Concerned about being a good gentleman? Well, this game didn't end. Another one of my predictions that failed. Orange left a 60 stack locked. I would love to see the ranks of my opponents, but this might be one of those situations where um, it is not worth my time to sit around and watch people fail to win, so that might be the game. The lesson learned, folks, confirmation abounds. Confirmation bias abounds. We would all do well to remember that the world is not always against us and people often make mistakes it's a lot more likely that people make mistakes all that said the viability of progressive world dom for ranking is still not there um so if you walked up to a lay person on the street and said what would you expect the best risk player to in the world to look like um the answer currently is play caps. And then that person would look at you and be like, what's caps? So we have a long way to go towards getting a fair ranking system. Orange has five cards now. Let's see them make a kill. Or else I'm going to have to tap out of this three-way quagmire. I'm really trying to make interesting video for you guys. This game was interesting until I lost unceremoniously. Yeah. I 
not doing a whole lot of breaking. I think white has it. It's because of the speed problem on black. Black can't catch up, so black goes out next. Okay, orange sets in with the 75. Still lined up to kill black. Should take the kill on black. White seems to be um, insisting on kill feeding, but he's not taking it. Again, you take the kill on black by stacking most up here and a little bit on the 45 to hook around and finish. Orange decides to put his stack in the south of France. And not end the game. This is the second time I can clearly articulate a kill on black for five cards that orange doesn't take. He uses a lot of his clock and draft. Okay, black sets in, but can't move fast enough. And now we've gone to the stalemate stage. So now kills aren't profitable. He has 90 of his troops locked inside himself. There, we freed up 65. Pretty good, but both of them have to go one way into Denmark. This game has the potential to go a very long time and be decided by bot outs and or suicide. Okay, orange sets on three. Single stack has a line to kill black. We know he can move fast enough. Both of these guys want to go heads up with black, I think. Because they see that black doesn't have the speed. Orange feeling really good now. <laughs> the correct play for black is to punch as much of orange as possible and line themselves up to make a kill in a, in a single large stack. When he moved his 65 off of Scotland, he should have moved it onto his big stack so he has more troops that are mobile. Right, I saw that fortify as a miss because that just locks troops inside of himself, leading more credence to the theory that black is a beginner. And he's also attacking with animations on. 
I suppose is the last thing I will leave this video. Um, new players are speed handicapped as a default. If you were to design a system to disincentivize people from playing, I couldn't think of a better way than handicapping your new players structurally. Maybe they find the love of risk and stick around and join the community and play. And maybe they just lose through no fault of their own and never play again. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can't attack quickly, go into your settings and turn off your camera animations. And at least you'll be able to attack a whole lot faster. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm going to let it run until um, the outcome is decided. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. Porn about what I have to offer these days, because I can get you a lot better at Progressive World Dom. But it turns out that Progressive World Dom is no longer a viable mode for a risk ranking system, which just absolutely boggles the mind. Hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, for all of you on the path, world domination good games good line Looks like we do see an outcome, okay. Orange is on the ropes now, but white has them. White has a troop advantage and a card advantage. Orange has a bit of speed though.
a really good turn from from orange there. He has no set, it's over. Good. We're at least going to get, get to see the ring. Opens the 41, just makes it even easier. Yeah. All right. So white is an expert, maybe a master. Orange is a master, possibly a grand. Black is a beginner. We don't know about blue. They died too early. White is a master. Okay, both were masters. Excellent. Good play for both of these guys. Um, the kill feeding was a bit much. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good game. Good luck.